Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I wanted to take a more in depth look at some of the more popular, more commonly found CTPs in Marvel Future Fight. And I wanted to give you some suggestions on particular characters or character types that you could use to equip those CTPs onto, and so that you can have a better understanding of where I think those CTPs are best utilized because. There's no doubt in my mind and in the community's mind that these CTPs are the new wave of ultra powerful items and they are going to replace all existing obelisks eventually. But for those of you who don't have many or just have a precious few, I want to give you a better guide on how to equip them on the right characters and make the most out of those CTPs so you don't have to unequip them because it's an expensive 600 crystals if you make the wrong decision. And while there is no wrong decision in this game, uh, it may be the least efficient situation and you don't want to be in that one if you want to make the most out of your game. So that's why we're going to discuss them here. I'm going to be skipping the two CTPs that you cannot get through traditional means, uh, basically means that don't involve that crystal chest because I think it's kind of bogus. I will be focusing uh, partially on the two CTPs that you can get from the cinematic battle. The first one is the one that you get from the Thor, or not Thor, sorry, the Hulk cinematic battle, Wolf Hunting, and that is the CTP of Refinement, as well as the one that I haven't gotten yet, but that you get from the uh, Hela battle, which is the CTP of Energy. In addition to those two CTPs that basically everyone in the game can get just from the cinematic battle, I will be also mentioning the CTP of Transcendence, which is the one that I was showing you at the beginning, which you can get from hidden routes, as long as you have hidden tickets. And then another CTP that I don't yet have at all, which is the CTP of Patience, which you get from having boost points over 100. So you don't get them from just the regular boost points, you get them from that Fire Red Stage 2 boost point reward. And I'm going to be specifically discussing characters that I think fit the bill for these CTPs. So the CTPs effects will be on screen. That's very straightforward. We've already discussed why they're good and what's good about them in a previous video about CTPs. Now I'm going to give you specific recommendations for characters that I think fit the bill. So we're going to start first with Transcendence. And this is probably the one that I have the least amount of confidence in. So this is the one that I welcome the most criticism for. But I see the CTP of Transcendence as an obelisk or an obelisk type that is for offensive oriented or offensive minded characters who have a way of defending themselves. And this is a bit of a easy way of ex explaining it. I'm simplifying, I'm oversimplifying things. But that's what you have to see it as because this particular CTP gives you mostly attack stats. All attack and ignore dodge are both very offensive. Reducing reflect damage is again an offensive trait because you're only going to worry about reflect if you deal a lot of damage. And then the last part is the only defensive part, which is the invincibility. So there's no damage proc on this one. So it's not a full offensive set, but it's mostly offensive. I'd say it's three fourths offensive, but it is one that lacks any kind of defense other than the invincibility. So you do need to equip it on characters who have a way of defending themselves. If they have zero defenses, very low iframes, no healing, etc. The invincibility is not going to save them, so this CTP wouldn't be good for them. Who is this CTP good for? In my opinion, one of the easiest characters or one of the most logical characters that this is good for is Sharon Rogers. Uh, this CTP doesn't have guard break immunity, so you're going to want to choose primarily characters who have super armor, which she does get from her fortification four star passive. In addition, Sharon Rogers has iframes, she has hit hit stun, and she has uh, immunity with her, her third skill, the very uh, popular skill that gives her five seconds of immunity. So she has ways of defending herself. And this is going to crank her damage up to 11. Um, paired with her accumulated damage, it's just going to make her a beast. Speaking of beasts, I think that this would actually be a really good CTP for Hulk. We know that the CTP of refinement doesn't work with Hulk properly yet, but I think that this one is very, very good. I have a lot of success with my obelisk on Hulk and it's very similar. It's got ignore dodge and it's got invincibility. The recovery rate does help, but I think all attack and reduced reflect damage would probably be better because Hulk will just kill things faster. And you know what? Hulk really doesn't need that much defense if he's killing everyone faster. 
and I think offense is king in this new meta, so I like it for Hulk. I also like this obelisk for Dormammu, despite the fact that he doesn't have guard break immunity. He does need guard break immunity in some situations, but on manual play he doesn't really need it, and the extra damage coupled with the reflect reduction would really help him clean up characters that he otherwise has some difficulty against because of their invincibility, or sorry, their um, reflect. Finally, a couple of other fringe picks. I would I would think that Agent Venom would do very well with this uh, CTP because, again, he has guard break immunity. He deals massive damage. He doesn't have guard break immunity, so to speak, but he has invincibility on his fifth skill, which is the one that gets guard broken or looks like it could get guard broken, but he can't get guard broken during his fifth skill because he has invincibility, so he's fine on that front, and he has ways of protecting himself with the guard hit, with the iframe, with the heal. So he just needs an extra boost in damage to just slay through the enemies. And finally, probably a sleeper pick for the Transcendent CTP, I would say Mantis. Although she can get guard broken, she has fear effect, so lots of crowd control. She has self-healing and iframes, so she just needs a ton of damage. And the ignore dodge makes her a lot more flexible for a, you know, a variety of situations. Even if you send spiders at her, she can take them down. Um, and I like the reduced reflect damage, although it won't affect Mantis that much. I'm a little iffy on that last pick. Next up we have the other CTP that I don't have, which is the Patience one, the one that looks like a little eye and it's green. This one gives you very similar stats to the Transcendent CTP, except it's more defensive oriented. So this one I would see as kind of a 50-50 split. It gives you all attack and reduced reflect damage incoming, but then on the flip side it gives you dodge and invincibility. So I think dodge is really the keyword here that you need to focus on, and you should try to pair that with characters who already natively have dodge, because getting dodge on an obelisk usually means that you're going to sacrifice other stats. So take for example Corvus. I wanted to give him an obelisk with dodge to accentuate his guaranteed dodge from his tier 2 passive, but I had to sacrifice offense because max HP is a defensive stat, dodge is a defensive stat, and then we have invincibility finally. And we're not going to give him a damage proc, so now my Corvus doesn't hit very hard. The patient CTP would make him still hit like a truck because of the all attack, and I wouldn't have to worry about physical reflect from Luke Cage or energy reflect from Destroyer as much. So I think the patient CTP would be perfect for Corvus. It accentuates his defense with the dodge, but it also gives him an extra punch on his skills. Other characters that fit this bill, Rogue, even though she doesn't have a lot of guaranteed dodge, I believe she has 18% or 7, no, she doesn't have any. Oh, 23%, there we go. I was confusing that with the damage received. It's great for characters like Rogue, it's great for characters like Storm, even though she doesn't have any guaranteed dodge. It does kind of balance her great damage with some survivability. You could go full defensive for Storm, I can see the argument there for something like Refinement or another Obelisk altogether, but I like the balance because Storm is a heavy hitter. Uh, and finally, I think that Spider-Man would be an awesome fit for the Patience uh, CTP because, again, he's got lots of dodge, so it synergizes, but then it also gives him the punch, and it protects him against the Luke Cage reflect and the reflect from other characters that can punish him for being such a physical damage-dealing character. Third up on the list, we have the Refinement CTP, and this is the more defensive one, and I think this is the one that the most, the majority of the player base already has because I think it's the easiest one to get. Most people... Um, you know, got Hulk's uniform built up pretty quickly. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky because, as we know, it doesn't interact well with Hulk's heal, so I hesitate to give it to any character who has native healing unless it's a very infrequent native heal. So that's going to be kind of the theme of this one. But I think that the refinement CTP is very obviously defensive, you know, max HP recovery rate, recovery effect and guard hit, so it's very, very defensive, and I think it suits best to characters who are defensive in nature, to just make them even more defensive. And while you may say that Hulk is a defensive character, I think with his new uniform he's very clearly offensive-minded, with the bleed, with the multi-hits, and with the immunity, so it just goes to, uh, you know, a different character, and I think some good characters for the Refinement CTP, first of all, would be Captain America. I think he would be an absolute headache to take down with this CTP. I would love to give it to Captain America, but I'm just not sold yet. Um, right now, mine is a mix of offense and defense, but if I could change that ignore dodge for something like recovery or, you know, another max HP roll, perhaps, I probably would, because... 
Captain America's job is just to take damage and keep on hitting, and that's exactly what he's going to do with that. Another couple characters that I think would be perfect for the refinement CTP are Luke Cage and Destroyer. And if you're not familiar with what they do, they're basically just reflect pylons. Uh, they serve as a deterrent to any big physical or energy damage dealing characters. And the idea with Luke Cage and Destroyer is to just have as much HP as possible to just reflect back as much as possible. Because the more damage you can take, the more you can reflect. So that's why I tried to give the max HP, all defense, recovery rate type obelisks, and refinement has all of those things. It's perfect to accentuate the reflect meta characters. Finally, I think that Heimdall would be fantastic for the refinement CTP because he's so tanky. He's got the damage reduction and the guaranteed dodge. This would just make him an additional layer deep in terms of his defense. And finally, Black Dwarf. He doesn't actually have that much defense. Um, he does have the um, immunity on his first skill and he does have the you know guard break immunity physical defense stun effect so he is quite tanky and he does have a quite high hp pool and this would just serve to accentuate that and provide him some additional defenses so that he can keep spinning those uh weapons and keep dealing damage lastly we have the ctp of energy and this is probably the easiest one to discuss because it's the most offensive minded one that we can get our hands on easily without having to resort to crystals and this is the one you know crit damage ignore dodge damage proc increase chain, chain damage this is full 100 percent damage offense oriented so of course you want to put this on characters that you want to deal the most damage traditionally or the general consensus among the community is to give the ctp of energy to cable because he serves for two extreme alliance battle days and extreme alliance battle is just who can do the most damage the fastest so the highest damage ctp of energy would be best suited for the game mode that requires the most damage the most dps the damage per second other characters of course that fit this bill are any character that you use for extreme alliance battle wolverine possibly gene gray definitely quicksilver probably apocalypse uh maybe scarlet witch just so there's characters that you want to pump out as much damage as possible yes some of these characters may need guard break immunity um, but it doesn't really matter they're just trying to powerhouse through as much damage as possible alternatively you can give this to any character that has multi-hit attacks who you want to just deal more damage i would be a very scared to see what a doctor strange could do with the ctp of energy given his chain hits on his second skill and given the fact that this has increased chain hit damage Doctor Strange, for example, does need guard break immunity, so it's not my best pick or my number one pick for him. I think the CTP of authority would probably be better or the, the CTP of destruction, but it just goes to show you that it's not just ABX I'm talking about here for the CTP of energy. Any character that you want to hit like an absolute monster truck, if you want them to slam down with the fist of a thousand Odins, give them the ctp of energy and they will do just that but just keep in mind there's no defense so if they die in the process you lose all that damage as soon as they're dead i hope that this breakdown and that this specific pointer to different characters for specific ctps has helped you get a better understanding of what these ctps do and why you should put them on certain characters over others my philosophy as you can clearly see is to give the ctp that fits a character's strength to that character rather than trying to cover up a character's weaknesses i think that the ctp should try and push their strengths to new heights so that they can take advantage of their offense even more or they can take advantage of their defense any uh, even more but let me know what you think let me know if you think that I have it kind of backwards or if you have other recommendations that other characters should have specific CTPs from the ones we talked about or maybe even for the ones that we didn't if you have some spare crystals and you were lucky enough to get the authority CTP or the destruction CTP. I can't wait to see your comments below. Subscribe if you're having a good time and of course if you like what you see I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.